Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are gonna see how I make my moody landscape renders inside of Blender. As you can see this the project file, I have some mountains and around with some grass assets scattered and also a cube for the ocean floor, and some PNGs as waves. Now if I go to the rendered you can see this is the version I will get after rendering and after that, I have done a little color correction in Lightroom. And here you can see my world settings with an HDRI from HDRI Haven along with some multiple color nodes. Here I used color to change the colors and brightness of the sky dome. I used this setup to create the moody look I wanted to achieve. Now if I zoom out you can see the ocean cube and waves. The scene is quite heavy on my computer cause the mountain plain has 3 to 4 levels of subdivision, also I used a low height volume cube for the ground fog. Let me see if I activate denoise in the viewport it helps or not. I don't think this helps, even after increasing the sample count it's still slow so let's deactivate the viewport denoising and also I'll hide the volume cube. So now you can see this is the short part I added some grass assets used as particle system with weight painting to match the reference. Also, this is the ocean cube where I added the glass BSDF with a bump map made of one musgrave and a wave texture combined. For those wave foams, I used one image of the wave against the beach and connected the color input to the opacity through a color ramp node. As you can see I use the same image multiple times using instancing to save memory. But for now, I will hide them to show you the rest of the scene materials. I will also hide the ocean cube and the black plane under that. This plane is used to cut off the light coming from the bottom. This plane material is fully black and non-reflective. After hiding the duplicate instances of the mountain and the beach I will also turn off the floor grid for easy visibility. Now you can see the main component of my scene. The mountain plain with lots of subdivisions and the beach with the multi res modifier used for some basic sculpting. You can easily see how minimal I kept the sculpting part and the scattering to make my scene more optimized. For the mountain you can see the modifier stack with two initial subdivision modifier along with a displace modifier and a particle system for some vegetation. Here in the texture window, you can see the height map I imported from world creator to displace the mountain as per my liking. Now for the shading part, you can see that in the world settings, I used a free HDRI for global illumination. I downloaded this from the HDRIHaven.com. This overcast rainy and cloudy lighting is best for the moody look I am going for. Now for the mountain, you can see it's quite a mess so hear me to follow. I used two different materials one grass and one color map imported from the world creator to achieve my mountain material. It's completely non-reflective and non-specular. I also used some bump and an active displacement for some secondary details on the mountain. And here you can also see the color map I got from World Creator.
If I turn off the displacement modifier you can see it's just a plane with some basic material. The real magic is the height map I got from the world creator. Now the scene is complete and if now I unhide all the components you can see how easily one can make a really beautiful tutorial environment and render inside of Blender. Also for the Wave PNGS you can see how I modified the color to be the perfect opacity using a color wrap. With this node setup you can easily replicate a beach scene without using any simulation and it works fine for any background element. Also, try to organize your elements and meshes as, it's a good practice as for a bigger and unorganized scene, it will be tough to find certain elements. And I also added some volume near the beach floor as it will bring some more foggy realism to the scene. Try to keep it low, otherwise, it will fully cover the mountains and it will not look dramatic, it really works for me. I added the duplicate mountain and beach for a more prominent horizon line, it shows how big your environment is. In my opinion this is very necessary for a scene like this. And at last, I added an empty to control the depth of field value of the Blender camera, as it always adds a bit of realism in any render as, the physical camera always has a depth of field value. And now we will go for the rendering and some post-process color correction in Lightroom. Hope you learned something new today, happy learning everyone and have a good day.